people with mental illness are no different from any other member of the community. They want to feel that they're contributing members, that they have a role to play in the community. My name is Pat. My name is Keith. And we care for our two sons who have schizophrenia. And this is our experience. Our sons, uh, one of them lives in a house very close to us, just walking distance. And the other one just recently has moved to supported accommodation, which is within bicycle distance. So he, he will ride his bike to visit us. Our sons have had their illness for about 20 years. Unlike a lot of people with schizophrenia, uh, they're amongst that small percentage who have very severe psychosocial disability. The medication doesn't have a huge impact on the symptoms, which means that they have huge difficulty living in the community, living in independent lives. They have trouble doing everything, basically having a conversation with people, keeping an appointment, remembering things, reading a book, watching television, they don't work, they're unable to cook, they're unable to prepare meals, they have no friends, they live very isolated lives. Were it not for our family, they would have no social interactions at all. I care for my sons by looking after their medication needs and their monetary needs, if they need some extra money for shopping and I just make sure that everything's sort of running fairly smoothly. I certainly play a part, a part in the practical support of our sons, uh, but, but I felt much more driven towards advocating and lobbying for people in our position. Our eldest son has um, very great needs in the, um, he's, he's also got diabetes, which we believe was triggered by the large doses of antipsychotic medications he takes. And unfortunately, he has very bizarre and disordered eating patterns. So the management of that diabetes, luckily for him, has been taken over by a district nursing service, apart from mental health services, who support him twice daily. Uh, whereas for our younger son, he's more able uh, to live in his own home as long as the supports are there with him. Previously, they had their own place, they had support workers. The feeling of independence raised their self-esteem to some extent. Most people, most young men in particular, uh, certainly don't want to be living with their parents. And they certainly, at that point, were a lot happier and they were able, I suppose, to, to feel uh, that they were live, living a, a normal life. Uh, mental health services were quite a lot more involved in those days. The support initially um, provided by services was, although not extensive, was of really good quality. The support worker who supported both of them didn't give up. She'd come to, to visit the boys and they would ignore her, but she didn't go away. She'd sit, even if she sat in silence, until they were ready to talk to her. And eventually they did. But unfortunately, when she left, after about a year, services really weren't able to provide a worker with that same skill. In the final place where they were living together, they there was a bit of conflict between, due to their illnesses, where we've had to sort of separate them again because of arguments and a little bit of fighting. And my younger son has got a lot of paranoia and that comes to the surface every now and then and he just can't get on with his brother. It's quite there amazing. just isn't any really support from the mental health services. The contrast between the two is incredible, yeah. It's only if we instigate something, if there's a problem, apart from the regular appointments, which aren't that regular anyway. Whereas with the district nursing service for his physical health needs, even though our son 
doesn't acknowledge he has diabetes, when he says to them, you don't have to call me tomorrow, I'm, I'm okay now, I'm, I, I don't have diabetes any longer, uh, they say, okay then, and they just change the subject, talk about something else, and then um, towards the end of the conversation, they say, so we'll see you tomorrow? And he'll say, okay, and that's the end of the conversation. The district nursing services are quite impressed by, they, they've been doing this with him now for approximately three years. And so twice a day, he religiously waits for their call. And despite that attitude, mental health services uh, describe him as a difficult to engage client, which is uh, mm. quite amazing really, that, that different attitude. So they don't give up yeah. and, and they're assertive when they need to be, which is something I think that mental health services could learn from. Certainly nowadays there are a lot more programs of supported accommodation for people. There's been quite a large amount of federal funding for houses to be built and support to be provided for people with mental illness. But my sons, especially my eldest son who has a brain injury, um, just don't fit the criteria to receive that support, um, largely because they, they don't really accept that they have a mental illness. Uh, they have what's termed, what's called anisognosia, an inability to understand that they have a mental illness and they would struggle to even sign a piece of paper asking for support. Our whole emphasis has been on trying to provide a safe, stable environment for our sons to live in. If we weren't available for our sons, they would be the classic homeless young men. I'm, I'm sure of that. We, we can see that neither of them are able to live independent lives in the community without our aid and support. And, and we're very fearful that um, when we're no longer around to be able to continue to support them as we do, that they're going to be able to get the support that they need to live a reasonable quality of life. And at our age, um, it's, it's a fairly unusual life uh, when you're fast approaching 70 and you're still supporting your children on a daily basis. Services need to be um, provided rather than the families providing support. I, I, Keith and I would love that we were just parents for our sons rather than the coordinators of their care.